Hello and welcome back to Flights in Well. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. And today I am probably going to do the most difficult flight I have uh, I have ever done. It's snowing. It's windy. Um, we've got a lot of snow on the ground. We've got a lot of slippery surfaces. High winds. Um, well, maybe not that high winds, but definitely some sort of winds. Uh, and we're going to be flying out from East Midlands Airport at, all the way to uh, London Heathrow Airport on an emergency snow run. So there is no other air traffic around, but we're going to see exactly what's happened. So let's get this all ready to go. As a matter of fact, let's kill the head tracking for now and do this the uh, pretty much the old-fashioned way, which uh, doesn't seem to be working right now. Great. There we go. All right, I want to bring the checklist up, though. Yeah, I want to, I want to bring the checklist up. Ah, I hate it when it does this. The checklist is just down there. Thank you. Okay, propeller control, full increase. Let's get this going. There we go. Throttle, 10%. Come on. Give me 10% throttle. Okay, it doesn't want to work on that, but that's fine. Uh, battery master switch on. That's up here, isn't it? Uh, battery, battery, battery master. There. There we go. Why is this not... There you go. No. Go on. Give me 10%. Okay, you know what? Advanced mode. There you go. Done. There you go. Right, mixture, rich, then idle, cut off. Mixture up to rich. Um, then idle, cut off. I'm having difficulty for some reason with this. There you go, that's on cut off again. Uh, magnetic switches are going on now. So that's going to be, there's the mags, mags are on, starter engage. Alright, advance the mixture. Ah, couldn't do that in time. This is not easy. Let's go back to maybe just that, that view. Try again. No, I'm not get. this is not happening. I'm just going to do that. That's going to be easier. Not exactly the, the right way to do this, but that's fine. There you go. Okay. Throttle idle. Uh, alternator on. Radio master switch on. Uh, where's the radio master switch? No idea. I'm going to actually switch these on as well. Uh, that, that, that that on radio master switch where's the radio master switch I'm literally doing this all uh, just just decided to do this off the cuff I was like what what type of video should I do and uh, this is the video I came up with so hopefully you guys enjoy it I can never find this radio master switch I mm, let's switch that on though uh, that's the autopilot switch It's always, always been an issue on this for me. So one switch I can't find. Let's bring the flaps down whilst I'm waiting. Or whilst I'm trying to find this. No. Okay, you know what? Find it for me. No, don't. Oh, sh stop. Mm, it's a pain. There it is. Oh, right, it's right there. It's right in front of me. Okay, fine. Great, done. Switch that off. Right, these are all coming on. These are all coming live. Let's get this ready to go. Uh, let's switch on a bunch of stuff because this is going to get very, very interesting very quickly. Avionics, there we go. Uh, give me... Let's run an emergency... No, I'm not going to run emergency, but I'm going to run something very, very... Yeah, let's go for it. Let's run... That's not one, is it? Huh. Let's run that. 
5435 prop heat on surface de-ice on windshield on high ice light on air conditioning on that needs to be on pizza heat needs to be on vent defog needs to be on uh, that needs to be on and that needs to be on high that all looks pretty much right for me um, that is going to be fine okay let's uh, okay this and okay that fantastic right let's tune in let's have a look at what we can tune in we've got a uh, ATIS we're gonna to have to go 122.625 quickly on this no don't do that it's this one 122 625 uh, no, that's 120 there we go that should be ATIS for us Any day now. Really? Have I have I have I done something wrong there? No, that's that's Atis. We are at uh Where are we? Hold on. Yeah, no, we're we're at we're at the right place. Why is that not coming up with Atis? One twenty eight two two five, that's not right. East Midlands Airport Information Alpha. One five four nine at Zulu. Wind two five six at one six. Visibility one five in snow. Sky condition ceiling two two hundred broken. Severe thunderstorms in the area. Temperature one five. Dew point five. Altimeter two nine at nine at two. ILS runway two seven in use. Landing and departing runway two seven VFRA. Okay, uh, so we're we're using runway two seven. It's fine by me. So we'll go for runway two seven. Now it says altimeter two nine and nine two. That doesn't seem right to me. Right, I can feel the wind already. We're going to tune in one oh nine. Go on, switch to switch to that. There we go. We're going to tune in 109.35 there. Should move that to where we need to go. We'll set this up to be... There we go, come on. Oh, this is not an easy... I can already feel it on taxiing, how difficult it is. Right, okay. Uh, we'll set this up to be correct, which is going to be uh, two seven it's two seven one, I think. That's not right. Two seven one. Come on, switch two seven one. Wow, this is a come on. This is already being a pain. Sometimes I don't know why I bother with head tracking. There we go. Maybe we can just do this. Two seven one. That should give us a a chance to actually get to to the runway. So we've got two seven one. So we're going to have to do uh, a two seven approach. Yeah, at our destination as well. So let's go for. Uh, ooh, watch that! Watch that! Watch that push. Don't like this. I do not like this. We'll probably do this video in two parts. It shouldn't be too long. Each part shouldn't be too long. But uh, let's see. So we're going to probably try and land, I don't know, 27 left at, at uh, Heathrow. So we'll do that and we'll see if we can get a uh, 27 left there. Okay. I'm actually downloading all the charts on the fly. And this video is going to essentially go hand in hand with the flight sim tutorials video that I just made. Uh, do you think I could probably t turn off here at Whiskey? I feel like that's a good idea. I want to do that.
a lot of aircraft do this, so I'm going to turn off that whiskey. But yeah, along with the Flight Sim Tutorials channel, uh, that, uh, or the Flight Sim Tutorials videos that I make, this is going to go hand in hand because I explained part of how to use these uh, in that in that video, right? Now this is where things are going to get very very interesting. Like I said, I've just I've not really planned this. I just went right. What should I do to make this interesting? And I thought, well, here we go. Here's something. Right. There we go. This is gonna be rough. Very very rough. I can't imagine this going right in any which way. Honestly can't. But uh, there you go, there's the aircraft. Have a good look at it before it crashes. And uh, yeah, this is what we're... Oh no, this is bad. I, I'm, I'm, regretting this, I'm regretting this choice already. Right, so what we need to do is we need to ensure that we're ready to get onto whatever we need to get onto. Um, no turns below... 806 on the QNH, which is 500 foot above the above the altitude of the airport. Uh, we want to have Daventry tuned in 116.4, so we're going to have Daventry tuned in on. Da -da -da. What should I tune Daventry in on that? No, if I tune Daventry in on that, that would be better. Yeah, let, let me do this uh, because I'm going to need that for something else. So if I tune Daventry in on this. We should be okay with takeoff. Um, I want to. I'm just thinking, what's the best way for me to do this? Like I said, I've not planned this. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. I'm making it up as it go as I go along. Uh, can I tune in? Here, if I switch that on. ADF. If I tune in. Uh, da da da. No, I don't. I, mm, I'm going to need this. I'm going to need this one. This is awkward. All right, let me tune in Daventry on on this. It's one one six point four. No, stop! Will you please just behave? One one six point four five point four. In we go. I should move that. We'll set that on for uh, radial 339. So that's going to be radio 337, 338, 339. There we go. Uh, we'll have the autopilot ready. Um, we're going to have. We're going to put it into navigation mode soon. We're going to have the heading select to be. Uh, 224 actually no we'll just leave it as this no we want 224 I want 224 and I know I'm not explaining why I'm selecting these that's it's just the departure uh, if you want an explanation on that do go check out the flight sim tutorials channel and this in fact this very departure I believe is the one that I will be explaining so right that looks pretty good to me I need to ensure that I've got my distances correct, which is there. Um, distance, 0 0.5 nautical miles. Yeah, that looks good to me. Uh, radial. Now, hang on a second. That's not the radial I want, is it? No, that seems okay. That seems okay. Right. And then we'll take off and see what happens. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can do this. This is going to be a mess. It's going to be an absolute mess. I can tell you that now. All right. Power it up, nice and slow. Watch that into the wind. Boy, I'm not liking this already. Come on, up, rotate, 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 smooth, rotate. There we go, we're up. 
we are, when I say we're up, we're, we're definitely up. Gear in. Keep those flaps out. Maintain course. Okay, now bring the flaps in. Autopilot into heading mode. There we go. Okay. We're coming up to, th we need to be continuing the climb. Hang on a second, we're going to be turning to a heading of 224 in a second. Alright, turn to a heading of 224. Oh, come on, keep that climb going, keep that climb going. Climb, altitude. 3,000 feet. There you go. Okay. This is not easy. This is not easy at all. No, this is this is rough. This is really really rough. I've also noticed this is wrong. It's not going to help us. It needs to be 116.4. There you go. There you go. That's now come alive. Uh, keep watching that distance marker. We're looking for 2. Point, no, we're looking for uh, 6.5 nautical miles. We need to be above 3,000 feet when we get there. Which uh, at this point in time, I don't think we're going to be able to do. No, we're not. We're not going to do that, are we? We're going to vertical speed mode. Make sure we get the heading on as well. But uh, vertical speed... It's not really increasing, is it? No, I don't... Altitude, there we go. That's climbing. That's certainly climbing. This is not easy. This is not easy at all. Right. Uh, from this mark, we're going to probably be switching over to... Daventry on this, so we'll switch for 116.4 ready to ready to go no, 116.4 I said there you go, that's 116.4 that's ready to go, 5 nautical miles, 5.4 nautical miles past this, we're looking for 6.5 nautical miles away our climb is going well now we're definitely we're in clouds now not much that we can do. Let's take a look outside. Quick look outside. You can see it's very difficult to fly this aircraft. Good views though. Definitely good views. Alright, got to be back inside. Must be back inside because we are approaching... In fact, we've passed it. We now need to turn to the to a heading of 339 on the radial, so that's 159. Turn it in, 15789. There we go. And we're going to look at switching this over turning this onto a course of 339 which is 303 310 313 319 323 336 37 38 39 we're almost bang on that switch into navigation mode Okay, that's rough. That's rough. Swing it around the other way. Why did it do that? That's not what I meant it to, wanted it to do. Course 159. Silly thing. Of course it's only going to do what's going towards it, isn't it? Right. 
That'll do. 159, it should hold that. Altitude can go up now to 5,000 feet. In fact, no, we can go right up to 9,000 feet. As a matter of fact. Yeah, we'll go right the way up to 9,000. See if we can get ourselves right up there. We're going to be breaking out the clouds in a minute. I can see it. Oh, it's no, it's just broken clouds. Okay. That's okay. This is a rough flight. This is a very, very rough flight. Right, and we're just going to continue following this all the way. And we're going to maintain 9,000 feet until we get to Daventry, which is absolutely fine by me. Shouldn't take us too long to get to Daventry, but we are going to set up the next uh, the next one, which is going to be uh, Bovington. Which I'm just going to try and work out how to how to get to that. Um, I think we it's going to be the Bovington Star into Heathrow. So we need to, like I said, I'm just making this up as I go along. So once we get to Daventry, we need to swing on to a one five one six five radio outbound from Daventry. All right, so we're going to go 165 outbound once we get to Daventry. And then that's going to lead us on to uh, Bovingdon. Now, how do I switch between Nav 1 and Nav 2 on this aircraft? Is there a way to do so? How do I switch the active Nav? What's that? Because I've not actually looked into that, which makes it really awkward. Right, we're still climbing. We're not climbing fast enough, that's for sure. Unfortunately, we're just not getting a climb out of this. I feel like we should be able to get a much better climb. The climb performance on this aircraft should be immense. There we go. So we're definitely we're definitely struggling to climb. We should be at five thousand feet already. We're not even at four. No why. Let's try that. There we go, that's now working. 1,200 foot per minute climb. Fantastic, there we go. Finally, that vertical speed worked. All right, and we're going up to 9,000 feet and we are breaking out of the clouds. This is a big thing for us, this is big. Uh, it's important as well. Now what we're going to do is, let's see if I can tune in on the ADF. I wanna tune in Westcott, because that's gonna be important. That's 335 on the ADF. So three, okay, that's wobbly. Four, three, 30. How do I get to the individual? It's that way, isn't it? Yeah. Three, 30, six, five. There we go, that's three, 35. Um, 335 kilohertz that's good for that's good for me I am going to ensure that it sets up on uh, let's see 165 is that what I want I feel like that's what I want so I'm gonna oh no wait we need to make sure this is zero anyway we need to ensure that's pointing so we're pointing towards that all right we are continuing our climb I think we'll reduce our vertical speed now to 700 foot per minute. Hopefully that responds. That is responding exactly as I want. Fantastic. Who thought that would happen? All right, so we're not going to go into altitude hold anymore. Now we're just gonna do this ourselves. Um, this is rough, this is really rough. I mean, look at this. Look at the way this aircraft is shaking around. Landing it's going to be a nightmare. It really is going to be a nightmare. It's 
got to be a... I still want better views. This is on the right view, isn't it? There you go. All right, we're at 6,000. I'm going to switch off the head tracking right now. We're at 6,000 feet. How far away are we from Daventry? 20 nautical miles away from Daventry. Just try and speed up a little bit more. Just max out the speed. We'll adjust this to a 500 foot per minute climb. It's not listening actually. It really is not listening. I think it's trying, but it's not it's not happening. Yeah, see that's not a 500 foot per minute climb now, is it? It is trying, there it goes. It's got to 500 and now it's gone up again. So I'm not I'm not entirely sure what's happening. Okay. And the outside air temperature is showing 17 degrees C. I don't think it is. I, I think that's wrong. Because it's got to be minus temperatures. It's snowing. It's cold. There's severe thunderstorms. It's, yeah, it's winter. Right. So we just follow this along now and hope that this aircraft can maintain itself and then it's down down into Bovingdon and then down to London they still do need to work on the uh, on the clouds they are quite pixelated not entirely happy about that come on keep it going I'm going to switch into altitude hold, switch off vertical speed, make sure that's 9,000, get the nav mode on. That should get us up to 9,000 and hold 9,000 for us. Oh, that's tough, that's tough. I can see, look at the aircraft wobbling and shaking. Just have a look at that turn coordinator there. Look how much it's shaking as the aircraft, as the aircraft's buffeted around by the turbulence. Alright, that's 9,000 feet. We've, we've got 9,000 feet and it looks like we, we're going to hold 9,000. Yeah, we're definitely going to hold 9,000. And let's get this over with as quickly as we possibly can. We're doing 140 knots. And I'll switch this into a into a second part in a minute. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Flights in World. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Um, yeah, this is rough. This is really, really rough. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, thumbs up and a follow, please. And do support me on Patreon, www patreon.com slash EC gadget description to that uh, link to that is in the description box below description to that that's all right link to that is in the description box below I'll be honest whilst I'm talking to you I'm looking at all these numbers over here maintaining watching this aircraft and I'm reading charts so that's why I'm getting a few things a little bit mixed up but anyway I'll see you guys next time in flights in world